Hello and welcome back to this new video of mine. I have a few books on my summer TBR here on Goodreads and let's talk about them. I also have a stack right over here. Oh, it just started raining. Cute. I'm first gonna just tackle the pile of books I have over here, my physical TBR, and then a TBR of future releases and books that I do not own yet. First up, let's talk about Better Than The Movies. I recently started this, I got on page 22. <laughs> So really not far i think it's like the second chapter yeah so i really cannot tell you much once i started it it felt a bit too young like it's very young adulty i feel like i need to have more time to get used to this everyone waves about it and everyone says how great this one is and i'm really excited so i definitely want to get into this one i feel like also a rom-com type of situation is always nice for the summer very excited about this then as you can already see the next one is happy place by emily henry this is one of the few emily henry books i have not read yet so far i've read book lovers funny story and people no and beach read wow and every time i read an emily henry book i feel like it's just giving the perfect summer vibes and this is also i think they're also going on a getaway like on a trip somewhere and also they're jumping into a lake here or in the ocean so just seemed very fitting for the summertime and i want to tackle her books at this point i also want to read people we meet on vacation still so very excited about this one even though i've heard it's a really sad one or just not necessarily sad but emotional and that makes me a bit scared next one i have i wouldn't say it's necessarily a summer story to be honest it's magnolia parks the long way home so this is the third book in the magnolia parks universe in this entire series almost hit myself <laughs> with the book i do love the series so far but this one is huge almost 600 pages so this is gonna take me a long time but I just want to tackle the series, I don't know, within this year maybe. I think so far five books are out and I think I might be able to make this within this year. So I hope that I can manage that. Let's see. I love the series, I'm very curious and I mean I also want to just continue. That's the reason why I have it on here, not because especially summary or something. The next and also the last thing I have on my physical TBR are three books of a series. The fourth book is coming out in July, I think, and that is the Windy City series. Also don't know if these are especially summer type of books. It's giving a warm summer night to me though, you know? It's cute. I don't know. I love these covers. I just love the vibe. I've heard so many good things. One of you guys commented under one of my videos that I should read this one, that this one is one of the best books they've ever read. So I'm so excited. So I'm gonna tackle this series this summer. This is my goal. And if you're interested in a video about this, then put an airplane emoji in the comments down below Then I know and then I can definitely film this. Otherwise you're gonna just get my review at the end of summer. <laughs> I'm gonna stack the books up in the back here again so that you can see them properly and then let's talk about my goodreads tbr shall we okay so there's quite a lot of stuff on here i think in total i want to read 15 books this summer which is quite ambitious yeah let's see so the first one i own but i don't have it here i have it in munich right now is archer's voice i want to read this in a video with you guys and also here i know it's not a summary book i'm aware but also summer is just the time for me to read romance books for some reason i just love a good romance in the summer i've heard this one is also very emotional so it makes me a bit afraid then i think Haley femme posted about it same time next summer at least if i remember correctly but she said that this is very close to emily henry's writing style and she gave it a very high rating so since then i'm very intrigued and i've heard it's under 300 pages so a good beach read if you ask me now i just need to go to beach which I probably won't this summer. But if I cannot go to the beach, I need to get the beach to me. And a book that screams beach and lake and just ocean vibes or just really just summer vibes to me is Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. I was intrigued by the storyline of this one. So I've heard this book is part of a series and I don't really want to go through her entire backlist before being able to read this book because I've just heard so many good things about Just for the Summer and I'm just excited for that one. I mean, they're a little bit connected, but I don't think they're building up on each other. So I think they're just interconnected standalones. Yeah, if you know any more about that, let me know down below. I'm very, very curious about this one though. So I would like to pick that one up. Then we have Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. I've never read anything by these authors, I believe. No, I don't think so. I think it was Sarah 
Caroli, who said that it's such a good book and she completely loves it. And she also had it in her summer recommendations video. She just inspired me. So I just put it on this list. It just looks so summery to me. Like, I don't know what it is, but I just really want to read it. So yeah, let's see if I'm also gonna be able to make that this year. It would be amazing, but hey, you never know. Then we have Love Theoretically by Ellie Hazelwood. This is the second Ellie Hazelwood book I would have then been reading in my life. <laughs> I think this is a fake dating story and I'm really interested in that, especially since everyone hypes this up. Same as Archer's voice. I feel like everyone talks about it and everyone says it's such a good book. And I feel like in the fall, I'm more gonna be in the mood, to be honest, for fantasy again. I feel like I just need to tackle it now. And talking about fantasy, Reckless is coming out soon by Lauren Roberts and I'm so excited for this, especially after reading the novella. I feel like I caught up on everything that happened again and we got a small snippet in that one for the upcoming book and I was like oh, I miss Kai and Peyton so much I just want to read about them <sighs> I'm just so curious and I really want to read that book so I'm gonna pre-order it I think another book that I want to pre-order that I did not expect would come out anytime soon I, I just didn't have it on my radar at all is by Ashley Poston a novel love story excuse me <laughs> Excuse me, of course I need to read it, especially after being such a big fan of Seven Year Slip. That's a no-brainer for me. Give me all the Ashley Poston books at this point, you know? It just sounds so good because she's then stranded. Not stranded, not the right word, but hey. Um, because she's being pushed into the story world of one of the books and she... <laughs> the dog again. And she needs to give them a happy ending, basically. So it just sounds so cute and... Uh, I don't know, just an Ashley Poston book in summer? Please. Also, if you've watched my recent video about the books I've read so far this year, there's Flawless by Elsie Silver in there, and I definitely want to continue the series. So I want to read Heartless. So this is the second part of the Chestnut Spring series, and I would love to just pick it up right now, you know? <sighs> I've heard it's about Willa and... what was his name? Caden? I'm just so curious. I'm so curious and so excited. I hope I can read this one soon. Next up, also new release, is by Catherine Center, The Rom Commers. I read Catherine Center's The Bodyguard recently, uh, not recently, half a year ago or something. I loved it. I loved her writing style, it was so easy, so fast paced and it was just so fun to read as well. And she just covers so many good topics in her books, I don't know, it was just amazing, top tier. I'm really excited for rom-coms because also this is gonna talk about two screen writers I think that are rivals. I think something like this. Let me look it up. Ah, okay, so she's rewriting a script for a famous screenwriter. So I think we're gonna follow a love story between the two. I'm just reading the summary of the book and I'm already smiling. So I feel like this is gonna be a good one. And then last but not least is Picking Daisies on Sundays. Such a cute cover. Can we talk about that for a second? I don't know. I've never seen such an aesthetic cover. And talking about aesthetic, I've also seen it everywhere on Instagram, basically. I've heard it's a pretty good book. I didn't see someone rated five stars yet, but it's definitely a four star, I think, for people. And I don't know, it just sounds very cute. Also, again, romantic comedy. So what better time to read this than in the summertime? Don't ask me, I don't know. This was just a quick video sharing all these with you guys because I'm just curious. I just wanna have your opinion on them as well. If you've read any of these, which books you are excited to read this summer? I need your opinion. I mean, I have almost 15 books on there or over 15 and I just need to know which ones are good and which ones are not. And where I can actually save myself the time, you know? <laughs> So let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you. I would say this is it for today's video. Have a beautiful and blissful day and I'm gonna see you next week. Bye!